gremlins are cute until they aren't doesn't that sum up mouse like when you okay let me walk you through the timeline of like an average person who, who meets mouse you first meet mouse you're like wow mouse an is average person mouse is you. really sweet mouse is so nice and then you hear her say something about like she's like or something on stream and then you're like well that's kind of it's kind of intense huh but i'm sure it's nothing i'm sure it's nothing and then and then you keep you keep talking to her and then she starts being like my dick! like that and then you're like wow okay i mean maybe it's a little maybe it's a little a little bit off. okay and then mouse just fully breaks down and, goes, and then you're like okay maybe maybe this is a gremlin i'm dealing with not a not a sweet little innocent lady is that right mouse? i've never once i have never once in my life ever tried to convince people that i was a sweet innocent i, lady. I never said that but i'm just saying the the viewers might perceive you, you as a sweet putting, innocent you are putting words in my mouth and planting seeds in the brains of people I thought, with your assumptions i thought you were very sweet and, and an innocent young lady you fucking mick liar stop this mick liar <laughs> Puedo hablar español, pero creo que me gusta más el inglés después de todo. Ah, a mí me gusta hablar en los dos do, 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 idiomas. I don't remember the periodic table. I don't remember shit, man. Let's be real. I don't remember shit. I don't remember periodic table. I don't remember. I don't. I barely remember what an adjective is. God damn it. What is a noun? All right, I'm just walking home on a rainy night. Seems like the perfect time to do a podcast. So there's this thing called VTubers. It's not especially new, but I just sort of got into it a little bit. Where it's virtual YouTubers. Just these people who, uh, you know, they stream on Twitch or on YouTube. And instead of using their own face, they use like an anime avatar. And the technology is really cool. Like, you know, uh, when you see the behind the scenes of a movie and people have those whole like motion capture suits on and all the like the, the dots on their face and stuff. It's kind of similar to that, except you don't need all that technology. There's just like an app for the iPhone that scans your face. And it's incredible how accurate it can be. Like when people scrunch their mouth left and right or raise an eyebrow, you know, like all that stuff just happens to their the anime version of themselves in real time. And it's like, wow, this is pretty fucking cool. But there are a lot of people that do this. And I think, you know, it's just like anything else. Like the gimmick doesn't really help ultimately, you know, it's the person underneath is either interesting or they're not. So I really, I don't know, I didn't know where to start. I dipped in here and there. I'm like, I don't know, this is pretty weird. I don't really, <laughs> I'm not really vibing with this. Until I found this girl named Iron Mouse. So I learned about her because there's this Welsh dude, Connor, who's another YouTuber who uh, I've been watching for a while. He started collaborating with her and they have these like bickering fights and it's really funny. But what I also like about Iron Mouse is just she swears like a fucking sailor and I love it. Like I was just talking to one of my friends the other day about how like when we grew up, Kevin Smith movies were the thing. And like his movie Clerks got an NC-17 rating initially just for language. It didn't have any violence or nudity, just had so much swearing. <laughs> you know, that's what we thought was the best. Or there's this British TV show Misfits. I started re-watching. It's only from 10 years ago, but it's so offensive. And it's like, wow, I don't think they would make this show anymore just based on the language, just based on how these people talk. So I'm a simple man. I just love swearing. I love when people are just open. And yeah, maybe it's not surprising that uh, virtual YouTubers oftentimes tend to be a little artificial and stiff, <laughs> a little fake feeling. Iron Mouse does not feel that way at all. Just, just a super awesome firebrand of a person, super entertaining. I think she's fucking awesome. So there's obviously more to the story than that. There's a reason why I'm making this podcast, but before I get into all that, let's just listen to some Iron Mouse. I'll start with like the Iron Mouse and Connor fighting, because that's how I found out about this. And that's what got me into this, this little weird 
this, this world I didn't know anything about. It was like my gateway in, but also, you know, the end of the line. I found a few other VTubers here and there that I think I might kind of like. Like, oh, they're kind of funny too. They're pretty clever. But Iron Mouse is a whole different thing. It's just, it's, it's an amazing, it's an amazing fucking thing going on here. But we'll get into that. First off, let's just listen to some Iron Mouse. See if she wins you over the way she won me over. The appliance is cockroach. That's, that is not even remotely correct. Are you, do you, okay, I, swear, you I swear, like, Mouse, Mouse is chat. I'm gonna let you in a little secret. Mouse pretends to be fucking incompetent at pronouncing words so that you guys clip it and she gets more views. That's the real secret. <laughs> that's the real what secret. The, what, what the fuck are you that's, saying? That's the real reason. That's the real oh, reason. That's the real really? reason. That's the real reason. <laughs> Kaka Roach. So that the, 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 they'll fucking clip it and be like, Mouse pronounced this in a really cute way. 10,000 10, views. Bitch, you talk to me and I sound stupid. What the fuck are you saying? What do you mean? You sound stupid? I never said that. I just said yes, it. Yes, just said I pronounce shit. I talk, listen, the same way I talk on stream is the same way I talk to you off stream. So shut the fuck up. Stop making no, shit that's up. That's not true. Off stream, she's like, yeah, so I saw this movie with an alien and uh, a cockroach. <laughs> and, and I was like, wow, Mouse, you're pronouncing it perfectly now. Wow, I can't that? believe it. I turned into a pompous British man. Shut the fuck up, Connor. Yeah, dude, it was pretty impressive. <laughs> she's like, oh, I have a I have a peak I just ordered a pizza, Connor. Not, 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 you know, of course, not to eat or anything. But what the fuck? Just, just, to, just so I could have an opportunity to pronounce it. That's what that's what Mouse It's said. pizza. Yeah, well, that's what I'm saying is that you're you're pretending like that, you know. Um, I'm not pretending, you piece of shit. Guys, what the it's, fuck it's are you saying? It's all a fucking act. Wake up. I'm not just getting mad because like you're talking shit about the way that me and the people that I grew up around talk. No, 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 no. Hold up, hold up. Don't, don't imply. Don't imply. I am not implying. I'm saying that you are the only one. No. You, everyone around you is probably everyone around you is probably a normal functioning person of society who knows how to pronounce alien and cockroach. You are the weird one. Shut the fuck up. I can tell you've never been around no fucking Spanish person in your fucking life. Shut the fuck up. Spanish people in the chat. You do not say cockroach and you do not say alien. Bruh. Alien. Bruh. 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 Spanish people in the chat. I want to hear it right alien. now. Alien. It's not the first. Listen. No, 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 no. Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. Gonna... Shut up. I want to hear what Chad has to say. No, I no, do no, not. No, I do no, not. No. no. Can confirm. No. No, we don't. No, I don't. There we go, Mouse. There we fucking go. Oh, you, 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 you are a liar. You are, you, using, you are using my lack of knowledge of your culture as a shield, and that that it's is, even, frankly, that is that is downright rude. Do that is downright rude. Do you want me to fucking dox myself no, and tell you where no, I'm from? Do you want me to fucking dox myself and tell you where I'm from? No, no, I don't. No, I don't. No, I don't. You know where I'm fucking from, you piece of shit. Shut the fuck up. And I know that you're a fucking liar. You're a fucking liar. You know where I'm fucking from. I, no, I don't. No, I don't. No, I do not. No, I do not. Shut up! Bitch, I just started taking my medicine, okay? This is the worst medicinal experience I've had since I fucking met you. I swear to fucking God, if I thought that the last time I was annoyed and fucking pissed off with you, today takes the fucking cake. We ain't never finishing this fucking game. Because I'm never fucking fighting with you again, you piece of shit! <laughs> you were... <laughs> I can't even apply. I'm too busy laughing at that. <laughs> Man, you acting like a real alien right now. <laughs> That's all we have today. All right, thanks for coming, guys. This is, this is, this is, That's all we have. Look at this. Mira que como viene el bro. Se cree que la gran cosa se cree que lo que es todo lo que está diciendo, pero no está diciendo nada. What is that? Oh, oh, Spanish language is alien language now. Right. You fucking racist. Wait, what okay, the fuck? okay, hold up. So I get to, I get, to, right, I, you go. get to mock, you get to mock Welsh man. language. You get to say it's like fuck anything you want about my language, and I gotta take it. You know, you say it sounds like a fucking like cockroach coughing my language, and then when I when I say your language <laughs> I sounds weird, said that. when I say that your I language sounds that. weird, I it's racist. Okay, <laughs> all right, Mouse, you. you pull out the racist card. What the fuck? Get out of here, man. I never fucking 
said that shit to you. I never said anything about a cockroach sounding language. The only thing you I said about your fucking like language all... is that it sounds like fucking alphabet soup being oh, spoken. Oh, okay. That's and if I said that about you, said. you you would be like, no, there's no nino in the but alphabet soup. The and then you would be time. like, that's racist. You do it all the fucking time. All the fucking time you talk shit about my shit. What the fuck are you saying? I never talk shit you about like... your shit. That's a lie. Oh my God. Yes, you do. That's a you fucking lie. What I literally have never saying, spoken Carter? shit about you. What the fuck? <laughs> I'm, I got time for this. I'm ordering Uber Eats. <laughs> I'm getting lunch. Fuck this. <laughs> go get your fucking shitty ass lunch, you piece I'm of garbage. I'm ordering it. I'm ordering it. I'm being... Go go order it. Go order it. Go ahead. Ask if they have go. A, you know what I'm going to ask if they have? I'm going to ask if they have a sandwich or a pizza. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking hate you. I fucking hate you so much. You don't understand. Why? <laughs> I fucking hate you so much. <laughs> That's why we stream every goddamn week, Mouse. Uh, no, we can stream no more. Yeah. We ain't streaming no more. You've said that every single stream. You've said that every no, single we're stream. Not I'm serious. This is not strange. Oh, God. Thank you for the best. You can do something. <laughs> We're not streaming anymore. Never right. again. When are, we, when are we continuing with this game, man? <laughs> Collab over. <laughs> <laughs> Are you friendship therapy? We need friendship therapy. <laughs> we, need, we need a mediator. <laughs> All right, so I lived around like Hispanic people for a very long time. I'm Puerto Rican. My family's Puerto Rican. It's this is how it is everywhere. Okay, it's very loud. Everybody's in your fucking business. <laughs> everywhere you go, you go anywhere, and everybody's like, ah, ah, qué está pasando aquí? Vamos a ver lo que está pasando aquí. Ay, mira, pero mira eso. Ay, Dios mío, mira eso. Wow. <laughs> And then you got people giving opinions all the time and everybody's all up in your shit all the time. It's true. And then <laughs> you try telling your Hispanic parents about personal space. Get personal space, need personal space. Tu eres de esta casa. There's no such thing as personal space. Privacidad, que es eso? Eso no existe. There's no such thing as privacy. You think people are gonna stay to themselves? I don't think so. If you go, if you go out of your house, you better, you best believe somebody's gonna talk to you. All the older generation are gonna come up to you and talk to you and ask you questions and say something like, Oye, tú sabes esa esquina ya? Esa esquina, coño. Cuando yo era la edad tuya, yo hice muchas cosas en esa esquina. And you're like, man, I'm just trying, I'm just waiting for the fucking bus. Please, sir. Please, sir. I don't know you, sir. Please, sir. Mira, tú viste ese bus, ese autobús, esa guagua allá, esa guagua. Cuando yo tuve la edad tuya, yo estaba con mi novia ahí. Y nosotros nos besuqueamos. And it's like, God, sir, please, sir. Por favor, sir. Please, sir. I just want to ride the bus, sir. Please. Please, sir. I have a test coming later. I have a test later. I need to get in the zone. I can't be talking to people. I should be studying. Coño. <laughs> hey, Mouse, did you tell Nana the train story yet? Oh, my God. Train story? <laughs> I'm interested. <laughs> Is it a scary story or something? I know. If you ever ride on a train, don't ride on the back train car, cause you always have a surprise. Well, once upon a time, I went on a train with my friend, and we were on our way in the train, and we went into the back train car, cause we thought we were cool, and we were like, oh, I'm gonna go to the back train car, you know? When we get there, we're like, yeah, we're in the back train car, and we're hanging out, and we're getting ready, and and we were young, and we were we were having a blast, you know? Yeah. And then all of a sudden, the train stops at a stop, and when it stops at a stop, people get on. And typically, at this time, people don't usually get on, but uh, if they do get on, they usually get on at the front of the train, but this time, 
there was a man, and he came into the back of the train with us, and he could have sat anywhere in the world. There were so many seats available, all the way in the front of the back train car, all the way in the back back train car, in the middle of the train car. But no, he decided to sit right across from me and my friend, and he oh, gave no. us a strange smile. And I noticed, I just so happened to notice, that he was very fashionable. He was wearing... Uh, these yellow highlighter color bicycle shorts and I'm like wow oh. what a fashion for a man late <laughs> in his late 40s probably oh. amazing amazing fashion you know it's like who the fuck wears yellow bicycle shorts at like 6 a.m. I don't know it was a very early morning and then we were going about our time on the train when all of a sudden we hear a noise, and I look up, and I see the guy, and he whips out his fucking wiener <gasps> out of his bicycle <laughs> No! What the fuck? And he starts fucking jerking off, smiling at us, and he's just looking at us, and he's jerking off on the train with what? his dong hanging out out of his yellow bicycle. He just pulled his, his bicycle shorts off to the side, and out came his wiener. What the f what What? What? <laughs> Why? That's so fucked up. <laughs> we start screaming for dear life. We're like, ah, 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 and we we pushed on the train button. We're like, help us, help us. And I don't think we should have done that because the guy got even more excited and it made him jerk off really fast. And he was smiling what? at us, and it was like he was getting a really, really, really intense like look on his face, like he was really having a good time because he was hearing us fucking scream. Oh my god, that's horrifying. And we were, we felt, we felt so scared. And the thing in my mind that I kept thinking is, oh my god, this guy is gonna come all over us. We need to get the no! fuck out of here. And it was going faster, faster, faster. And we were screaming. And then the thing went ding dong. And, 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 and the door opened. And we ran out of there so fast. And we went into the other car. And I'm pretty sure he busted the second we came out. What the fuck? I would have cut it straight off and i'm just what? gonna let you know Ugh. after that day i never rode in the back train car again oh that's a good idea what the fuck and i remember i didn't tell my mom i didn't tell my mom until like last weekend because i i never want her to like take me out of like my activities and stuff and never let me oh. ride the train ever again and i was like I never told her, and then last weekend I told her, and she was like, What? <laughs> no. She was like, What? No. Why didn't you tell me this? Por favor, por qué no me dijiste? And I'm like, Because you were getting mad and never let me ride the train. And she's like, Of course I never let you ride the train. <laughs> Sin vergüenza por donde quiera, coño. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Have you ever tried to play like piano chords? Like my hand I feels did. like it's gonna break. Maybe my hands are too small. But <laughs> Mine are too. Like, you gotta like lengthen your fingers somehow. Once upon like, a time. Touching them. Once upon a time, mm. I used to take piano lessons, and my piano teacher was really mean. And my hands are small, so I can't do the scales and the chords correctly. And she would slap my hand. <gasps> what a bitch! What the fuck? What the fuck? Me? Sounds like a bitch. And I'm like, I can't just magically grow fucking hands. What do you think I am? Fucking yeah, hands. What is slapping gonna do? <laughs> what gonna do make you not want to play the piano. Yeah, she and, and that's exactly what happened. Slap. She's trying yeah. to make your hands grow quicker. <laughs> <laughs> that's exactly what happened. I was like, fuck this shit. I'm never gonna grow bigger hands. I don't know what delusional world you live in, but the thing is impossible. <laughs> fuck that lady. I'll drive you. Drive me around. I don't. I don't drive any car. But when I used to be able to drive, I had something called. <laughs> I had something called small girl big car syndrome. <laughs> I was a tiny lady. <laughs> I'm a tiny girl in a big, big, big truck. <laughs> but it's, it wasn't mine. It was my parents, you know. So I, 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 I drove it around, and I had to. I had to have a b boosters. Are you serious? Is that even legal? I had to put a cushion as like a booster because I couldn't see over the stairwell. <laughs> <laughs> and it was 
was hard for me to reach the pedal, so I had to like... I would always wear like my platform shoes. <laughs> oh my god, that's so dangerous, you shouldn't... <gasps> ah! Don't tell anyone, even though everyone's hearing this now. Okay, don't don't say a fucking thing. Be, listen, understand, I don't drive anymore, but when I did... I had to wear my platforms because I couldn't reach the pedals properly in normal shoes. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Did I ever get stopped? No, I never got stopped. I never got stopped. I was I would always adhere to the road. Actually, no, that's not true. I got stopped one time. For what? They thought I was in middle school. <laughs> They thought it was like a kid that stole a car. <laughs> no! That's not... But, and you know what's funny? That's the first time I got stopped in a car. I've been stopped like not in a car. Like just wandering around. Back when I could walk oh. around. I, 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 I was stopped multiple times by a police officer thinking that I was skipping school. And he would be like, what school are you in? What school? Where? Where? What school are you from? And I'm like, I'm not in school anymore. And he's like, mm, Let me see your ID. And I'm like, Oh fuck! <laughs> Who is this lost child? <laughs> <laughs> they always thought I was like a kid, and I'm like, Fuck me! God damn it! I will always get stopped, and they would never, they would never like believe me. So I, I remember it. They thought that I was like a kid that stole like their, their parents' car, and like. <laughs> I was taking it out for a joy ride because apparently, <laughs> apparently, I guess like somebody like saw me in the car and they're like, "Oh my God, that's a child in that car!" A child. A child. <laughs> <laughs> I was just too small. <laughs> you lost your virginity to be live in La Vida Loca. What? Did you really? Please, tell me the truth. I need to know. When you nutted, was it the part when the trumpets was like, bleh, 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 bleh. You're like, ah! I'm so hungry, holy fuck. I, I'm hungry too. <laughs> Really? Yeah. We're gonna eat. I feel hunger like normal people do. That must suck though. You can't do anything about it. Yeah, it's just there. It stays there. Damn. And I that's, don't say nothing. I think that's like my worst nightmare. Feeling hunger and not being able to stop it from happening. I just like the one joy I have in life that is like uncompromised. Is like food, so. Yeah, people, you still feel rumbling in your tummy even though you don't eat normal food. Yeah. God, what does your stomach think's oh. going on? It's like, it's weird. We haven't had food for a while. Maybe we should rumble it every day, just in case. It's been eighty-two years. <laughs> the bite of eighty-seven. <laughs> As a person who has experienced moments where she's unable to dress herself properly, the greatest, the, the nicest thing someone can do for me is, is to help me get ready for the day. That's nice. Isn't that such, that, that's, that's more than intimacy. That's more than holding hands. That's more than cuddling. That's also, it's a huge turn on because I want whoever, uh, oh, yeah. hands me to dress me up like a doll and then fuck the shit out of me. Goodbye. What? We share a neuron. <clears throat> these nuts. Neuron these nuts. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Have you seen these these girls? <laughs> All they yeah. say are these nuts jokes. These nuts. Oh my god. <laughs> That's oh my like god. so 2020. <laughs> oh my god. Can she have like any better humor? This just proves that women can't be All she funny. does is like say these nuts and shouts like a fucking terrorist. Oh my god. Oh my What's god. next? Comedy about her vagina? 
<laughs> you know what? This are, this reminds me of all the times people are like when they go, oh man, she's a pee pee poo poo humor. Bitch, shut the fuck up. You guys know that it's fucking funny. Why can't pee pee poo poo be funny to me right now? I think pee pee poo poo is very funny right now. <laughs> These nuts. These nuts. <laughs> So there are like a, a billion clips I could have picked from, you know, just all kinds of weird, hilarious conversations and strange stuff that happen. Iron Mouse has been VTubing for four years. And the last two years on Twitch were especially visible. And then the last year in particular, she's really blown up big. So those are just examples of oh, whatever. Just, <laughs> that's just the stuff that she does. You just watch it, you laugh, you have a good time. I think if you just, if you search Iron Mouse, you're just, you're gonna have a good time. It's pretty much inevitable. But you may have noticed, listening to those stories, that there's an occasional weird thing. Because I, I didn't know anything about this girl. Even that she was from Puerto Rico, it took me a little while to figure out. So I'm just kind of floating in the sea of this weird world. <laughs> this weird world that this, this chick has created. Not really knowing what's going on, but yeah, there's those little weird references, like when she talks about when she used to drive, and she doesn't drive anymore. And it's like, okay, that's not so weird. There's lots of reasons why maybe a person doesn't drive anymore. I guess that's not so strange, but you know, you notice it. You, you, you file it away, you catalog it. And then weirder, she talked about being hungry. About being hungry all the time. And you just feel hungry, but you don't say anything, because there's no point. That's very weird. What does that mean? You know, that's not a... I don't know, maybe that's something you would say just to be, like, dramatic or something, you know? But that's not ever how Iron Mouse comes off. When she says stuff, it's literal, it's real. So what does that mean, that she's hungry all the time? And then it all just suddenly hit me like a big bucket of water in the face with this next clip I'm going to play. What's that noise? It sounds like a Geiger counter in your house. <laughs> what? It sounds like you've got like a Geiger counter in your mic or some shit. Oh, is it the crackling? Yeah, what is that? I'm sorry, that's my, that's my oxygen tube. Oh shit, sorry, fuck. Oh, now I feel awful, Mouse. I was wondering what that was. <laughs> now, now I'm an asshole, fuck, that's so mean. I'm sorry, Mouse. No, 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 oh my God. Oh, I'm so sorry, Mouse, that's mean. I'll end the stream, see you guys, fuck this, I'm going. <laughs> I'm sorry, Ross. Sorry, I had to put the humidor on fire. Oh, Why are you ap do not apologize? Because uh, it's annoying. I know. I'm sorry. No, no, you make it. No, Mouse, you're making it worse. Don't what apologize. Make it's, fun of me. It's really annoying. I'm sorry. No, no, it was. Oh my God, stop. <laughs> Mouse, listen. It is not. I was just curious what the crackling sound. I thought your mic was like breaking. Fuck, no. there's people here. I had to put I had to put the humidifier on because my nose was bleeding so much earlier. Cause the air what the was fuck? So Are you dry. okay? The air was so dry. Yeah, I'm fine. Uh, well, I, I, I feel like you keep adding things. You're like, shit, this is the oxygen that I saved from the orphans. This is the last oxygen I have. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> no, no, don't, don't apologize. Stop. Stop apologizing. You make fun of me. I can't. It's embarrassing. <laughs> What? No, it's not. I didn't think you could hear it. Bro, I, I have oxygen. I just breathe it. It's different. It doesn't fucking matter. Look, I listen. I breathe loud. <laughs> I'll try to breathe not so close to the microphone. No, no, no. That's not the problem here, Mouse. <laughs> Why are you nice all of a sudden? <laughs> Stop. Okay. What's wrong? No, why you sound sad? 
I'm not sad. <laughs> Are you okay? I'm just embarrassed. Wait, no! I feel so bad now, Mouse! You good? Yeah, I'm good. I'm gonna put my medicine on. I'm still here, though. I just can't put right, okay, it okay. right now. <laughs> what was that? Nothing. What's that? Are you telling? What's up? I just get really embarrassed. No, you don't have to, dude. It's totally fucking normal. That is, it's not normal to have a fucking oxygen tube in your nose, Connor. I, I don't see it as it weird. <laughs> Nothing about me is normal. Yeah, who the fuck gives a shit? Who cares? Bro, you want to be fucking boring? Bro, it is totally okay. <laughs> You do not have to feel embarrassed about it. I, as I tell you all the time off stream, as you know, I think it's fucking badass that you're able to stream and do everything that you do. You know that, Mouse. Even if you don't think so. Like, I, I like, like, people, I think people don't give you enough credit because, like, you know, I think people, like, very much underestimate, like, your situation, I think. People just watch you casually, I think. At least I think so. Yeah, I think so. How so? I don't know, because when I talk to people, and then I, I talk to them about you, and and they're like, they're like, oh, you get, you're gonna hang out with Iron Mouse? I'm like, bro, I mean, I, I don't know if you guys know, uh, like the situation, uh, you can't exactly just go for a stroll, you know? Uh, and they're like, well, really? I'm like, yeah, yeah, I know. She does, you do a really good job at like, making it seem like you don't have anything at all, you know? Like okay. you seem totally normal. I. I would never think there's you have any, you know, medical like condition at all. I would never think that. I mean, I didn't until I saw. So that was quite shocking because, uh, you know, I guess it's there's a lot of ways you can be anonymous on the internet, but especially with VTubing. There's the avatar, there's, you know, whatever background the person sets up, there's like the way they have their chat laid out, you know? Really all you know and all you see is the, the little curated room that they've devised and their voice. So it really, it's really shocking to hear about breathing tubes and oxygen and medication and it's like oh my god what the fuck I never would have guessed that at all so I've got some clips where Iron Mouse describes in more detail about her situation but before I play those I want to play a little clip from a bit earlier when she was a little less well known and had fewer viewers and when she didn't talk as openly about her medical problems where she set up a little thing for donations to have a better workspace and she put it that way because a common thing I've noticed listening to her is she doesn't like to lean on the fact that she has medical problems you know she doesn't want that to be the defining thing about her so she doesn't want to talk about it in those terms but what she really means by a new workspace is a proper hospital bed. Only just this past year, my dad was really sick and we had to get him one of those beds and yeah, they're not cheap. So Iron Mouse was asking for $2,000 and she expected it to take the whole month. She was just hoping over the course of the month she could raise the $2,000. And all you need to know about this first clip is she hits the $2,000 in minutes and so it's so fast so i'm going to play that and then i'll play some of the clips where iron mouse describes more about the illness that she has i have it i have it right here i'm a little embarrassed i'm a little embarrassed i'm a little What is embarrassing about a better workspace? A lot of things. A lot of things embarrassing. A lot of things is embarrassing. So, 
Let me explain. A better workspace, the reason why I am embarrassed is because, um, for those of you that know, that, that know more about me, um, I have been bedridden for many years, and I have a lot of mobility issues, and, uh, my workspace, I don't like to call my bed my works, my bed my bed. I don't like calling it my bed. It makes me feel very embarrassed. It makes me feel <sighs> not so good. So, I like to call uh, my bed my workspace because that's where I am all the time. I'm here. Um, I'm, right, I'm in bed right now. What? So you guys are in bed with me right now. And I have, I use a lot of pillows to prop myself up. Three. Fox, thank you so much for the pillow. <gasps> Oh, thank you. God damn it! <laughs> that was too much. Val, thank you so much for the dodo. Thank you. It's hard for me to talk about this shit. Um, I feel very embarrassed when I talk about it. But yes, uh, I like to call my bed my workspace because this is where I am. And this is where I work from. And this is where I, I do everything. And, 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 um, I need a better one because it's... It's hard, it's hard for me, um, to use just pillows all the time, and, 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 yeah. Oh, thank you. God damn it! So I'm not supposed to, to cry you. today! Oh, Jason, that's so, I'm so sorry to hear that. I'm so sorry to hear that. Mobility issues, having mobility issues is not easy, um, I have I have a, a muscular atrophy because of um, being in bed for a long periods of time, and I have a lot of issues. So um, it, it's not possible for me to be up and about, and 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 I I really want I, I really would like to be able to um um sit up more and and do more things and and. <laughs> I know, Roxy. I really want to be able to sit in chairs and stuff and and do things. Um, I'm trying. I'm trying really hard to to re regain some of my 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 movement, but it's a little hard for me. But I'm hoping that that with more work and 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 better access to medicine and 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 more help will. It will help me out a lot. God damn it. Thank you. Robert, thank you so much for the middle. I wish I could get an exo suit. Then I could go outside. Thank you guys so much for helping me. You guys make me feel so normal. I've I've lived so many years being embarrassed and feeling ashamed about being who I am and and about my body not working properly. But you guys help me feel so normal. So thank you for helping me feel human. I love you guys so much. And thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Oh my god. I'm oh, sorry. I'll be right back. I need to I, I need to take a tiny break. Is that okay? I'm sorry. I'll be right back, thank you. An autoimmune disease is when a person's immune system is overactive, so much so that it attacks the body. But mine is suppressed because it is a genetic problem. Listen, my immune system doesn't work. It doesn't make antibodies to fight off against infection and disease. 
so I have to be isolated from people and I can't be around people because I get sick very easily and they have multiple organ involvement. It is not lupus. I don't have lupus. Lupus is an overactive immune system. Um, I guess you could say my issue is kind of like a cousin of like AIDS, but AIDS is like a secondary immune system disease, which means it can be transmitted from person to person. Mine is not contagious. It is a primary immune deficiency disease, and it is a genetic disease. The big distinction is, is that mine is not a secondary immune problem. Mine is not acquired. I was born this way. I was born this way, and it is a genetic problem, and it can be passed down from families for generations. Um, it usually, it's, it's not really, okay, so there's not a lot of, like, research that's been done. It's not very well understood. A lot of times it usually, like, skips a generation from some of the people that I've talked to. But, I don't know. I'm not really sure how it's come to be in my family, but that's also because my family is from Puerto Rico, and, um, it's, it's really hard to get in touch with everybody and see, like, the healthcare system isn't that good. So, I don't know. I'm not really sure. I know my parents are fine, and my siblings are fine, but I was born with this problem. It's called CVID, Common Variable Immune Deficiency Disease. And I also have a lung disease, which is MAC, Mycobacterium avian complex disease. With multiple organ involvement and a lot of organ problems. So I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sick, IRL. But it's okay, it's not that big of a deal. I'm just happy that I could come online and have fun and hang out with everybody and, and, and have a good time. Should we joke about this topic? Well, you can joke about it if you want to. I don't really give a shit. I joke about it sometimes, but then I feel bad because I feel like I make people uncomfortable if I joke about it. Oh, it kind of sounds like a big deal. Okay, it is a, it is a big deal, but I try to... I'm gonna be honest, I am the type of person where I've been, I've had this problem for a very long time and when you are in this situation and you have to be under a lot of stress and have to live in constant fear of every single germ that exists in the universe, it, it takes, it takes a toll on you, especially knowing that your body is slowly deteriorating over time. You know, so I started to kind of like live my life like in fantasy and bury myself in like anime and bury myself in in games and and I found streaming and it's 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 wonderful and I'm just happy that I could come on here and I could not be that sick person that I always am. I am I am who I really am which is this this is really me Yes, I am a bubble girl. It is true. I am a bubble girl. Um, it sucks. It really sucks. I don't make antibodies to fight off diseases. So, you know, that whole thing called vaccinations and stuff. So, I got vaccinated as a kid. But because of my disease, those vaccines don't mean shit. I never made antibodies for any of the vaccines. So, if somehow the measles comes back or if, I, if the measles is in my area or some weird disease comes back, from, from the past. I am fucked! Ha ha ha! Ha ha ha! Ha ha ha! My body says fuck you to me every day! <laughs> yes, that is why I always say, um, please, if you can, va please vaccinate. Please. I know it's, it's kind of like, fucked up to ask, hey, can you vaccinate for me, please? But, you know. I, I'm trying to make the most of it. I try my best. It's hard. Um, I've been bedridden for a long time. Uh, my body's deteriorated quite a bit. But, oh yes, the most important thing. If you are healthy enough and if you can, please consider donating plasma. I have to take plasma every week. So basically, I take plasma, I get plasma every week to replace my immune system. What parts that I don't have, I get it through donations of plasma and I have to get it every week. Typically, uh, I used to get it every, um, month, 
but as I got older, my condition started getting worse. So now I get it every week. So if you can't donate, and also, if you donate plasma, you get paid money. You can make money. And you get paid more money donating plasma than donating blood. And you can donate plasma more times than donating blood. Hey, hey, don't tell people I'm a vampire. Don't tell everybody. Shh. Keep quiet. Shh. Are you able to go outside at all? Unfortunately, no. Um, I used to be able to go out only to go to the doctor and to go to the hospital, but unfortunately, since COVID happened, I can't go out at all. I am not allowed to see my doctor in person, and I only should be in the hospital if it's an absolute life or death emergency. So, uh, I've been isolated and locked up for a while at home. Does your nurse have to scrub in when they see you? Yes. We have protocol for every time my my um my nurse comes to see me. Uh, my family has to ever since COVID happened, my family has been locked up at home too, and I feel really bad because they're not really used to like being locked up all the time like me. Yes, please consider donating plasma. There's actually a shortage right now. Um, unfortunately, because of COVID, there is a shortage on plasma. One because people aren't going out to donate, but also two, they recently discovered that plasma is being used as a good way to help fight COVID because you can take the antibodies from a person who has already beat COVID and use it to and use it to help somebody that's going through it. So consider donating, please. We need it. Yeah, fuck you, COVID. Fuck Miss Corona. Nobody likes her. Oh. Yes, welcome to all new subs. I'm sorry I'm going into detail about all this, like, healthcare stuff, but, you know, sometimes it's good to talk about it, you know? I don't like to talk about it too much because I feel like it's a bummer, and it's like, why? It's boring, and it sucks, and, you know, I just love to have fun and hang out with everybody. I am no longer in school. I had to drop out of school because of my health, so I am not in school at all. I haven't been in school for a while. Do you do online schools? Unfortunately, I do not do online school. I couldn't do online school. Um, this is actually like really the first time that I... This is the first time that I haven't been like hospitalized for a really long time. And uh, in the past, I used to be in the hospital a lot. So it was very hard for me to get a lot of work done and I needed to rest a lot. So I, I, I couldn't continue. And now I'm here doing this. And I'm having a great time, and I'm happy that I'm here. Yeah, you could also sneeze and break a rib. Broke your rib more. sneezing? I didn't break it sneezing. I had, uh, it was when... So I have, I have a lung disease, okay? I have a lung disease called MAC, and there, there are multiple, like, types of strains that I have. Uh, typically, like, a person can carry, like, the bacteria of, like, MAC, and they'll be fine. But, like, a person with, uh, immune deficiency disease, the, the bacteria starts to get real bad, and it starts to eat away at you and do a lot of stupid shit. So, you get a lot of, like, symptoms that are similar to, like, uh, tuberculosis and stuff like that. Like, a lot of coughing, coughing of blood, and, like, uh, weakness, and you feel like you're, like, suffocating and all that stuff, right? So when I first got it, I remember I used to have these horrible coughing fits where I would not stop coughing. And one time I coughed so hard that I cr I cracked the rib. I fractured. Was it a fracture? I don't remember. It was something. I hurt myself. I was in the hospital for a long time. I think I was there for like maybe five months. It wasn't it wasn't a fun time. But you can't really do anything. You just gotta like let it. He it heals on its own. Like there's nothing that you can really do but get pain meds and stuff and try not to move. <laughs> but it, it, it's not fun. So like I said, Iron Mouse doesn't want to focus on that side of her life so much. I realize I'm kind of playing into it because I'm, I'm kind of doing what she wouldn't want a person to do, to, you know, to focus so much on her medical problems instead of on the other stuff that she does, the just fun, hanging out, being funny stuff. But the reason I put this compilation together 
It's just this one thing that she said that it just stuck in my mind. It was just like it haunted me. This is from her fourth anniversary stream where she really grew a lot in popularity. Like, it's no coincidence that I heard about her now. <laughs> you know, a lot of people did. And because she has this bigger platform, for her fourth anniversary, she did another donation stream, but this time it was a donation for charity for the organization that helped her when, when her sickness escalated. It was an 11-hour stream, and she was trying to raise $10,000, and she raised over $100,000. And that alone is cool as fuck. But when she was thanking everybody, she talked about four years ago before she started VTubing and just how bad things were and how she couldn't lift her head off a pillow. And the thing she said that just stuck in my mind like ever since is she said, I thought that was it for me. And just that one little sentence is so terrifying, it's so upsetting. Like all these stories she has about all this crazy stuff that she did. She did dance, she did singing. She drew the art for the Iron Mouse design to show the designer what she wanted Iron Mouse to look like, and it's really good. She got the nickname Iron Mouse when she got into breakdancing. Just all the stuff that she did. All the different talents, all the stuff that she hoped to do in the world, and it's just, it's just done for no particular reason, just random chance, just we all get to live our lives and she doesn't. And just imagining that scenario of being stuck in bed and you can barely move and you just think, this is it for me. This was the run that I got to have. But again, like I don't want this to be just focused on the sad part, because what's amazing is, like, just to be in that, just so trapped. I mean, there's not many situations that can be worse than that, you know? But then that she found this doorway out, it's so crazy. It's so insane, like, you're, you're just so deep down at the bottom of the well. And it's like, there's no, there is no getting out. And then somehow there's an escape hatch, you know? It's crazy. It's just as crazy as it is that this happened in the first place. It's crazy in the opposite way. That we're in this world where we have this technology and we're all connected. And there's this way out. There's this little hatch at the bottom and you can go through the hatch and have a whole different life. And there was one clip, I couldn't find it again. But I remember somebody asked her, this is a fucked up question to ask somebody in her situation, but they asked, you know, if she could go back and not be sick, go back to her old life, but all of this stuff that she built up through VTubing would be gone, would she go back? Which is just like, why would you ask that? What kind of question is that? But she said if you asked her a couple of years ago, she would say, yeah, I want to go back. But at this point, She's built something so awesome and all the people that she's met and all the people that she knows now. Like maybe she wouldn't, <laughs> maybe this is the better path. And that's so crazy to me. Like that's why I wanted to make this episode. That's the story that I just think is, man, I mean, how could you ever, it's just so bizarre and awesome. And yeah, when I just found this random person who makes me laugh because she says crazy shit and swears a lot, and I'm like, this is great. I'm going to watch all kinds of this. And then I just never expected the terrifying underbelly, and then I double didn't expect that it would turn around so much and just be so inspirational. You know, I mean, I'm not saying anything that isn't obvious about this situation, but... I mean, no matter what obstacles you have in your life, no matter what problems you have, your problems are not that bad. 
they are not that bad compared to Iron Mouse's problems. And she found a way to build a new life from there and succeed like crazy. And it's fucking awesome. So I'm going to play that clip from the fourth anniversary stream. That's the very condensed story of Iron Mouse. Thank you for listening. Oh my god, I don't even know what to say. Oh, my hands are shaking. Thank you all so much. Thank you all so much. Oh my god, we hit 11 hours! Holy fuck! <laughs> I just want to say thank you very much. Thank you, thank you for being so kind. And thank you for all the incredible love and support you've given me today and given to the idea. This is something that means a lot to me because this is uh, something that has affected my life, my whole life. And uh, this organization was here for me, and I know that they're here for so many people that were scared and that were. That are going through what I'm going through, and uh, I'm just very thankful. So thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Even I'm just happy that you guys are here. Honestly, thank you. Thank you very much. This is something that I never, ever in my life thought that I could do. I'm just a charity stream, but I just never thought that I could ever be this... Be here doing this. Streaming, retubing, doing a charity stream, and even just being... Being up for 11 hours. This is something four years ago I couldn't do. Four years ago! Four years ago. Four years ago, I couldn't even lift my head off, off of a pillow. I couldn't even lift my head off of a pillow four years ago. And I'm just really happy. Because now I can, I can sit up in bed and I can do more things. Things that I never thought that I could do. And I know I still have a lot more to go. And I really want to make it there. So thank you all very much. Man, four years ago, I was I was in a really fucked up place. I just thought that like, oh, I thought CVID Mac that's it for me. You know, I just I was ready to just give up, but I didn't. And I kept thinking there has to be something that I can do. There has to be something I can do. And I found it. And I'm just really happy that we're here together. So thank you very much. Thank <laughs> you all very much. I love you all. I was just like, uh, I was just like at a point where I was like, uh, you know when, when you get to a point where a doctor is just like, we just want you to be comfortable. Oh no. No. That's the point that I was reaching a long time ago. Yeah. When, when I first started streaming. I was reaching the point of, we just want you to be comfortable. Mm. And then I was like, uh, pfft, fuck you, no. 
Because at that point, they're just telling you to just roll over. Like, like what's the uh, point? Yeah. And I'm like, uh, fuck no, I'm not going to be fucking comfortable. What the fuck? Yeah. How about no? <laughs> fuck that. Exactly. Yeah. No, that's fair. So, uh, yeah, so I, I decided not to be comfortable and to do uncomfortable shit. And now I'm here and I'm fine. So it's okay. Doing well. I mean, I'm not fine. But <laughs> yeah, but you're doing better than you were. You said that yourself. Yeah. Exactly. Can you imagine when you when you're just like, oh, okay, I'll be comfortable. It's like you're fucking giving up. Your body already. Oh, no. Your body's like, well, well, if this bitch is giving up, I'm not gonna do shit. <laughs> Why should I care? It's like with old people. It's like with mm. my dad. Like my dad, my dad is getting very old, mm -hmm. and he's like, he's like, if I don't work around the house, I will die. That's what he tells me. <laughs> How very. It's, uh, I feel like it's kind of true though. Yeah. It's kind of true with older people, like, when, when people retire and, like, yeah. they go, like, you get a person living, like, in a nursing home to a person living that's on true. their own, yeah. in their house. Because like, if, if, yeah, if you mentally give up, I feel like that's when your body is like, all right, I'm, I'm gonna head out. Yeah, it's like, I'm out of here, bye. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> and now I'm busy and my parents think I'm a psychopath. <laughs> I mean, yeah, maybe there's some truth in that. What? <laughs> If I saw your streams and I was uh, a middle-aged Puerto Rican woman, I'm sure I would be confused. I'd be like, what? What is going on? You forget your uploads? What do you have? Selective amnesia? Amnesia? Yeah, amnesia. Amnesia. <laughs> amnesia. Amnesia. Do you have a problem? Amnesia. Amnesia. <laughs> Amnesia. Like, it's okay. What? What's, what's Why wrong? Why are you pronouncing it like that? What's wrong with the way I pronounce it? Oh, come on. Now you're doing this on purpose. <laughs> what, what do you mean? You cannot. Fuck off. That's not how you pronounce that. <laughs> what's wrong, Connor? You know, I just... Why does this bug you so much? I just don't understand why you do it. Why do you do it? Why do what? Say aluminum! Uh, aluminium. Aluminium? Aluminium. It's aluminum. Uh, no, it's not. It's literally spelled aluminium. Okay, amnesia. No, 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 no. And yes. you have to bear in mind that aluminum was first a British word, and then the Americans, for some reason, somehow took it. And pronounced it incorrectly. <laughs> what? Yeah. Ask. Oh, can you say? Uh, can you say? Uh, 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 your. You know. You say aluminum, right? Can you aluminum. say it in Spanish? Alu. <laughs> can you say it? In, can you say it in Spanish for me? Whoever asked that, fuck you. Can you say it in Spanish? finished talking about the remodel of the room um so uh i i like i said i uh i have started uh moving around a little bit more uh i could i could i have to use assistive devices and stuff but uh i can i can move around my room a little bit and uh Walk a walk a little bit. Very short, 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 wobbly distances. <laughs> uh, but um, I really want to. Uh, uh, I want to get a. Uh, I want to get into physical therapy to see if I could. Uh, help, aid, aid things. I really want to do that, but uh, I made a decision that I want to have. I, I don't think it's gonna happen by this year, but by next year, I want to sit at a desk like a normal streamer, and I want to have a stream at a desk. And I'm stubborn, so I'm gonna make it happen. <laughs> and I don't give a fuck. <laughs> 
I don't give a flying fuck. Uh, it might take a long time, but I'm gonna fucking do it. It was so hard to start. It was so hard to start streaming because I went from a life of doing nothing. Nothing! Nothing at all. I, d I went from a life of doing nothing to saying, okay, well, today. Today, I am going to stream and I'm going to, uh... See if I could talk for an hour. And I started one hour. Then I started two hours of streaming. Then I was like, okay, well, I'm gonna move around and let's see if that works. And then it was a slow, it was a slow climb. It was a slow climb. And 2017 was a very slow climb. I started five people, 10 people, 20 people. My birthday, my birthday last year, 50 people. Last year, 50 people for my birthday. And that was in 2020. And you know, I love each and every stream. And it doesn't matter how many people are there. I'm just happy to be able to stream and to have fun and to spend time with people. And I want to keep on doing it because it makes me happy. And it makes me feel like a person. Because I went from doing nothing to doing something. And that's incredible. And that goes to everybody. Everybody who wants to do something. Just do it. Just do it! Don't be scared! Just do it! I mean, I know it's scary. I was scared too. Whew! My first stream... My first stream... When I did my first stream... I... When I did my first stream, I almost threw up. <laughs> I hyperventilated and I threw up. I was so scared. I was like... <laughs> I was so scared. I was so scared. I was so scared! I was so scared! I was so scared. I freaked out. It was so bad. It was so bad. I... Uh, it was so bad. It was so bad. It was so... People would pay... People would pay for my puke? Oh, God. Don't pay for my puke! I heard that Ollie... Ollie likes musicals. Ollie likes musicals. I love musicals. We should sing musicals together. I am hanging in the bathroom at the biggest party of the fall. I could stay right here or disappear and nobody even notice at all. Oh my god. I'm a creep. Forget how long it's been I'm just mousy in the bathroom Mousy in the bathroom Watching her and I Hey! No, you can't come in I'm waiting it out Till it's time to leave And picking at Ralph As I softly grieve I'm just mousy Who you don't know? Mousy crying solo Mousy in the bathroom by yourself
All right, now that we're at the end of the episode, if you're still here, let's play some bonus bits. I want to play this clip because it's the hardest I've ever heard Iron Mouse laugh. And it just needs a little setup where she's talking to Connor and they were talking about public bathrooms and restaurants. And she was saying like, I can't even go in those. That's a death sentence, all the germs and stuff. Then Connor titled the stream they were on you know, something along the lines of, you know, hanging out with the number one most annoying VTuber. So she got mad and was like, hey, change the title. So he changed the title to Hanging Out with World's Number One Denny's Bathroom Lover. It's just weird and stupid. It's not a good joke. He says it himself. He's like, that's a B tier joke. But man, it just hits her just the right way. And she laughs so fucking hard and it's awesome. And then after that, let's just play a little clip of her singing opera. Because that's another just amazing thing. You know, people question the Iron Mouse voice because a lot of VTubers do that voice. They kind of do the high-pitched baby voice because, I don't know, I guess that's what dudes like. But in Iron Mouse's case, she's like 4'10". Like, that is her actual voice. She kind of has the reverse problem. Instead of trying to force a high-pitched voice, because of her illness and her lung problems and stuff, it's like her lower register is hard to access. But when she does... She can't do it for long, but it sounds, it sounds amazing. It's like, holy shit, that's Iron Mouse? Whoa. So let's listen to those. And thanks again for listening. Uh, all right, okay. I'm calling. Hello. Hello? Whoa, where's, where's this aggression coming from with the hello? God damn. I'm not, I am not aggressive. <laughs> I don't know about that. What do you mean? That. I am not aggressive. I'm a fucking delight. You could I'm be aggressive and, and be a delight. An aggressive delight. <laughs> that, that sounds like a like a you know when you have a you have a good hey, you shit you know it's big and aggressive delight. <laughs> what the fuck? It's, what are you saying? You know when you gotta like I don't know you gotta like take your shirt off when you're pooping like it's that that intense and it comes out and then you feel what? amazing. Why That's are you addressing delight. yourself when you take a shit? What the fuck? Wait, you telling are me? You, okay? you telling me when you've had the biggest like you know it's like the most stressful dump? Like you gotta focus all your energy. <laughs> you need to take your shirt off. Clearly, my digestive system I is not like yeah, yours. Yeah, see, people are saying in the chat the they're like they do it. Uh, I don't. What the fuck? You know, back in the day, you never had like a a, a dump that took so <laughs> much so much energy. You had to like get no! like naked. No. What the fuck are you saying? I still is this a no. Thing? This is the thing. This is, dude. I was on Twitter the other day as well, right? And like there was a there was an image, and it was a picture of like under a stall. So like you could only see under like the bottom of the stall, right? So like it's like an American one where you okay. can see into it. And the guy literally had his bare feet on the ground, and you could see that he like threw his <laughs> shoes and socks away. Like he was so he was so into this. Like he had to focus all his energy into this dump that he just threw in a public bathroom. He just threw his shoes and socks away. What the fuck? Yeah. You don't I would understand. I could never in my life, ever. It's because you're a VTuber. Touch Everyone knows VTubers don't have intense shit. 
<laughs> no, like what the fuck? Yeah. Putting your bare feet in a public restroom? Yeah, Are gross. you fucking crazy? Yeah, that's, that's gross. That's gross. That's gross. <laughs> and then the whole thread, what? the whole thread, because I, I I clicked on the thread of this image and it was literally people just sharing images of, of people putting things on the ground in public toilets that they shouldn't be. Like there was like Mother dead ass, it's like not a burger. Because on the floor Ew, like in, in the, the in like the styrofoam packaging but it was on the floor and like open and i'm like no no monkey's legit the minecraft he is he's oh hey babe shits aggressively <laughs> what <laughs> dude sometimes you got to listen it's not because i'm a vtuber yeah it is it's because i no, it's not i have a fucking weird ass body one two you ain't never gonna fucking catch me in a fucking public bathroom are you kidding me do you want me to die <laughs> true that's like the, the last drugs. place that i can be that's the last place i can ever be Connor. you hang out with someone you're like i know a place you just take them to a public grasp and just leave them that's attempted murder on me you better <laughs> not i look forward to your lawyer trying to justify that one <laughs> he tried to kill her he took her to a public bathroom <laughs> you're on how dare he you're on it was the denny's <laughs> put him in jail put him in jail oh, fucking even worse, a put Denny's him, restaurant. Put him in jail. <laughs> put him in jail right now. Throw the book at him right now. Your Honor is like, can we put, can we use the death penalty? <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna get you. You're gonna 20 to life. It's be like some CSI shit that like, so how did she die? She went to a public Denny's. No. <laughs> Don't say it. Don't say it. You see this? This motherfucker's plotting my demise. He does this all the time. No, I don't. I don't. Fantasizing about murdering me. Oh, fantasizing. I'm, 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 fanta I'm joking about it. It's it's different. Yeah, there's always a little bit of truth in a joke. Uh, rat. Don't fucking call me a fucking rat. rat. Yeah, wait, my, I'm my not chat. A fucking rat. My chat was telling me you got annoyed by my uh, my stream title. Uh, yes, I did. Why? It's the same as always. I don't understand. No, it's not the same as always. You don't fucking call me no fucking rat, motherfucker. <laughs> I, call, I call you rat. No, tungsten you don't rat. call me rat. Tungsten rat. No, you don't call me tungsten rat. <laughs> I I think I don't know. I think yeah. I think it's uh, I think it's a good name. Tungsten rat. I always call you tungsten rat. What do you mean? You want me to get rid of it? You want me to change it? What are you going to change it to? Wait a minute. It's because... No, 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 this, I can change no, it. You wait, tell wait, me... Wait, wait, wait. No, you no, no, tell no, no, me wait, if you want wait, me to wait. change it. Wait, wait, no, because you might change it to something even worse. What the fuck? I, I, I you can't... You think I'm stupid? No, I mean, that's the, that's the risk you'll have to take. What kind of person do you think I am? You think I'll change it to be worse or better? Yes, I think you would change it to be worse well, because I know you. <laughs> well, well, you get to call it. Do you want me to change it? Because <laughs> I fucking know you and you're going to make it even worse. You fucking psycho. <laughs> Well, uh, you, you, you get to say yes and no. Do I change it? I'm gonna ask my chat. Change it? Yes, change it. Okay. I, I just changed it anyway. You changed it? I figured, why not? Give the people what they want. What did you change it to? Have a look. I'm gonna fucking look at it. If it's something bad. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Holy fuck. I think I killed you. <laughs> See? Isn't that good? <laughs> sounds, like you just, sounds like you just walked into the Denny's bathroom. You died. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god <laughs> i don't think you'd enjoy it that much <laughs> i'll wait i'll wait i'll wait Hardest I've ever made you laugh. <laughs> Holy shit, I killed you. <laughs> yo, oh yo. God, <laughs> breathe. <laughs> what the fuck, I'm out. I don't want to be responsible. I don't know why it's so funny. What the fuck? Because you expected me to put like number one loser or something. <laughs> 
So I'm scared the FBI is gonna come in my room for attempted murder with this. With the other. You tell me you're gonna die. What the fuck, bro? Just breathe. <laughs> breathe. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Are you good? Are you good? <laughs> Are you good? You good? I just met you. Stop! It's not that funny! It's not that funny! This has gone on for too long! Oh god! Sorry. I'm sorry. No, no, it's okay. I just don't want to kill you. you get it? I'm alright. You sound like I'm you did like, a workout. Let's see your carry <laughs> get rid of it. <laughs> it's the best workout you'll get. I have abs now. Yeah, you probably have abs from that. My God. I felt like I was getting abs <laughs> listening to that. Hold up. I gotta take my inhaler. I'm gonna mute for a second. <laughs> <laughs> that was like a B grade joke, and I got an S tier laugh out of it. I'm, I'll, I'll take that. I'm gonna pretend like I'm all by myself. I'm all by myself. Singing opera by myself. <sighs> Shit. Can't do anymore. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. I can't. I can't hold it anymore. It's gonna come. My voice.